In this lesson, we're going to talk about midpoints and angle bisectors. So let me give you three pictures. And I want you to determine which one is a midpoint. Is it point A, B, or C? Which one is a midpoint? A midpoint is a point that divides a segment into two congruent segments. Point A is not a midpoint because we have a line. B is a midpoint because B divides the segment into two congruent segments. So midpoints are always found on segments. C is not a midpoint because it's on a ray, not on a segment. Now let's consider another picture. So let's say if we have segment RS and there's a ray that passes through RS at point X. And let's call this ray, ray AB. Now let's say that RX is 5 and XS is 5. What conclusions can we draw from this diagram? So if Rx is congruent to Xs, that means that X is a midpoint of segment Rs. X bisects Rs into two congruent segments, which means that ray AB is a segment bisector. Ray AB bisects RS into two congruent parts. Also, we could say that X is a bisector to X bisects RS. So there's a lot of conclusions that we could draw just from this picture. So keep this in mind. A midpoint divides a segment into two congruent parts. Now let's move on to our next topic, angle bisectors. So what exactly is an angle bisector? Well, as the name implies, an angle bisector is a ray that bisects an angle into two congruent parts. So let's say if this is angle ABC. An angle ABC, let's make it equal to 60 degrees. Now let's create another ray. If ray BD is a bisector, an angle bisector, that means that angle ABD has to be 30 degrees and angle DBC is also 30. If that's the case, then BD is an angle bisector of angle ABC. It splits angle ABC into two congruent angles. So that's an angle bisector. Now let's work on some problems. If B is the midpoint of segment AC, what is the length of segment AB if BC is 5x minus 8 and AB is 2x plus 4? So using what you know, feel free to work on this example. Now let's begin with a picture. So let's start by drawing segment AC. Now we know that B is the midpoint of segment AC, so B should be somewhere in the middle. And we're given that AB is 2x plus 4, and BC is 5x minus 8. Well, if B is the midpoint of segment AC, what conclusions can we draw? A midpoint divides a segment into two congruent parts. That means AB is congruent to BC. The tick marks shows that those two segments are congruent. So if AB is congruent to BC, then we could say that 2x plus 4 is therefore equal to 5x minus 8. So now we could find the value of x. And once we find the value of x, we could see or we could find out how long segment AB is. 
So let's do some math. Let's subtract both sides by 2x, and let's add 8 to both sides. Four plus eight is 12, five x minus two x is three x. And now let's divide everything by three. 12 divided by three is four. So x is equal to four. Now that we have the value of x, we could find the length of segment AB. And we know that AB is equal to two x plus four. So that's gonna be two times four plus four. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. So segment AB is 12 units long, which means that BC is also 12. And if we needed to find the length of segment AC, all we need to do is add these two values, and that's going to be 24. Here's another one that you can work on. If ray BD bisects angle ABC, what is the measure of angle ABD if angle ABC is 11x plus 5 and angle DBC is 5x plus 6? So how should we begin? What should we do first? The first thing I would do is draw a picture. So let's start with the first part of the problem. Ray BD bisects angle ABC. So let's draw angle ABC. We could draw the same picture that we had before. Let's call this A, B, C. B has to be the vertex because it's in the middle. Now we need to draw a ray, an angle bisector, which is ray BD. Our goal is to find a measure of angle ABD. Now we're told that ABC is 11x plus 5, and DBC is 5x plus 6. And let's put 11x plus 5 as the measure of the entire angle ABC. So with this information, how can we find the measure of angle ABD? Well, the first thing we need to do is find the value of x. Once we have that, we could find the measure of DBC, which has to be congruent to ABD, because ray BD bisects these two angles into two congruent angles. So we could say that angle ABD, which is what we're looking for, is congruent to angle DBC. So if we could find angle DBC, we can get the answer. But how can we find angle DBC? Well, let's say if DBC is 30, ABC is 30, which means, I mean, ABD is 30, which means ABC has to be 60. So therefore, we could say that angle DBC is one half of angle ABC. DBC is 5x plus 6, and ABC is 11x plus 5. So now we could find the value of x. Now to get rid of this fraction, let's multiply both sides by 2. So let's multiply the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. 2 times 1 half is a whole, or 1. So these cancel. So on the right, all we have left over is 11x plus 5. On the left, we need to distribute the 2. 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times 6 is 12. And now let's subtract both sides by 10x. And let's also subtract both sides by 5. So on the left side, we have 12 minus 5, which is 7. On the right side, 11x minus 10x is 1x, or simply x. So x is equal to 7. Now that we have the value of x, we could find the measure of angle dbc, which is equal to 
ABD. So angle DBC, which I wrote that wrong, that's equal to 5x plus 6. So let's replace x with 7. 5 times 7 is 35, and 35 plus 6 is 41. So angle DBC is 41, which is congruent to angle ABD, which is what we're looking for. And so that's the answer. It's 41 degrees. Number three, B is the midpoint of segment AD, and point C lies between point B and D. If the ratio of segment BC to segment CD is 3 to 7, and if BC is 15 units long, what is the length of segment AD? Let's start with a picture. So feel free to try this problem if you want to. Now we know B is the midpoint of segment AD. So let's put B in the middle and point C lies somewhere between B and D. Now we're told that the ratio of BC to CD is 3 to 7. So that means BC is short and CD is long. So point C is very close to point B. Now if BC is 15 units long, what is the length of AD? So this is 15. How can we find the entire length? So what do you recommend that we should do in this problem? Now we know BC to CD is 3 to 7. So if BC is 3x, we could say that CD is 7x. Now keep in mind B is the midpoint of segment AD. So therefore, AB is congruent to BD. Now, if BC is 3x and if CD is 7x, that means BD has to be 10x. BD is BC plus CD, which means AB is also 10x. Now we can find the value of x. BC is 15, which equals 3x. So if we set 3x equal to 15, then x is equal to 5. So now we can find the length of anything. We could find the length of CD. It's going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. And AB is 10x, 10 times 5, which is 50. And if we want to find the length of segment AD, we could add up the three numbers. It's AB plus BC plus CD, which is basically 20x. 20 times 5 is 100. So AD is 100 units long. Or if you add 50 and 15, that's 65, plus 35, that will also give you 100. So that's the answer to the problem.